My name is Eddie Keogh, I am a Canon Explorer and I specialise in shooting sport. The thing that really got me into photography was travelling around Europe with my mum in a Volkswagen camper van many years ago. She gave me uh, a little 110 camera and gave me the job of uh, recording the holiday and I just kind of fell in love with photography then. I got into shooting sports, firstly from a love of football really, playing football as a kid with my brother in the park after school and my first job was working for an agency in Liverpool. Every weekend I was shooting either Liverpool or Everton so it was a pretty great place to start. So I'm very lucky and privileged to be given access to some of the best sporting events in the world. When you get there, then it's a competitive job, as you can imagine. There's hundreds of photographers there who want to shoot the best pictures, and you're sitting alongside the best in the world, and uh, the competition drives you on, and that's something I really enjoy. The 1DX Mark II has even better ISO capabilities now. And a lot of sport happens indoors now. The lights are not as good as outdoors, so it's really, we're really pushing that high ISO because we need really fast shutter speed. So we're shooting up to 2,000 of a second, and the image quality is just fantastic. Shooting sport, we can't frame it full frame all the time, so we've just got to get what we get. And nearly all the time, we're cropping into that image. And now the resolution's even better. I've been able to crop into expressions on the cyclist's faces, and there's absolutely no loss in quality at all. As regards photographic gear, one of my favourite lenses is probably a 7200. That's a real workhorse for us sports photographers. Then the 400mm 2.8 is generally the, the first thing you put in the bag. Other bits and pieces is the, is the preparation beforehand, make, making sure your batteries are charged and understanding the story of the job you're going on. People ask me, ask me what was your favourite event? I'd have to say the Rugby World Cup in Australia 2003, which was a, a fantastic six weeks away in Australia, ending up with England winning the World Cup. I've done eight World Cups now, uh, six Rugby World Cups, four Olympics. I still get a massive kick from doing those. And the privilege of standing there at the start of the, of the 100 metres final, it just feels pretty special. I mean, it really is that the hair on the back of your neck goes up. It's, it's uh, an incredible feeling. I've been shooting sport for now 30 years, so you have a good idea when well, it's a good moment. You know you've got it, but the other guys are good as well, so they're going to get it as well. So very often it's what we call a dangle by the angle. So depending where you're sitting, who has the best angle on that moment, and they're the guys that get the back pages the next day. If I want to do the best, I need the best. So that's why I need cameras like these. I know they're reliable and they won't let me down.